a jump on the box as an this is an old reference that I have and when I'm thinking about the reference that I can that I can go out and tape it myself I would position the camera and stage all the elements in the same way or at least as close as I can as the final shot so I have uh, less guessing you know just do less guessing as you are as you are animating and I also uh, I think it's really useful if you guys can add that counter right there when you guys have a counter it is super easy just to have reference to the poses uh, so let's say that frame 74 you know that you have this pose right here and, and, and having the counter it proves that it's so useful uh, instead of going back to the post labels you go back to numbers and this is good also <clears throat> the action would be happening in this many frames as well so that's one thing that you also want to have that when you guys are animating and then you go out and get that reference just try to have it happening on that same time uh, if you have only five you know five seconds to animate it just go out and do it in five seconds uh, the closest you can get it the easier it'll be for you and then out of the reference we have things uh, that we do that this would be the thumbnail stage and this is this is breaking down the action so you can see now if I get in the uh, window both things like the image and the video we can see now how we start and then how we get that nice line of action right here so things that we want to start breaking down and it's just taking notes from what we see on the actual reference things that would be sharpening our eye or things that we can see and, and we say you know that that's actually kind of interesting I think that should go into the uh, reference so now into the animation sorry so you can see now that line of action and you see notes here about uh, timing you have the frames right here 1 13 20 so every time that you go to those frames on the counter you have that same pose let's say if I go to frame 40 and I see that quick change on the pose I go to frame 40 and it has to be the same and this makes it again easier for you to find the poses uh, remember as animators we need to be really organized about our work so this is this is one way of keeping all that and then as you can see I keep notes here about arcs and then the speed, at least the speed of those arcs. I have timing notes, which is this one from that pose in frame 3, 5 to frame 40. This is how fast it's going. But I also take one note, as you can see that it's an arc going this way. And I take the spacing here. It says it's low in. So I go and make a note here, slow in. And then do it like that so I, I can just have a visual note for myself. I also take notes here about the uh, center of gravity just so much it, it has to be balanced so much of the body it's actually behind that line and how much of that body is actually be, uh, ahead of that line again it's all the center of gravity and then more notes about slowing in so I, I take notes about the arcs and then the frames and then the spacing along those arcs you can see the hips the arc for those hips and then how this is slowing in and then slowing out and then more notes about things that I see that the necks being compressed uh, the shoulders are going up it's following the arc uh, let's switch uh, pages here so this is page number two I have those 3D arrows that help me to go through a body twist so I can see what's going on so I can have something like that just shade it a little bit so, so this way I can see which way the body is turning and it's helping me to get that uh, 3D motion also into the 3D animation uh, shot here and I just keep on going so just try, try to have the same thing as this one uh, things that are really important would be the contact pose right here it's the first time that he's making contact with that box and then how things are going down here contact there with the second uh, foot right there 
overlapping action notes, then the uh, the bending notes on the knees, right there, and then notes that you find that that you consider that to be important. Uh, I'll show you the last page. This one took three pages of uh, drawings. This would be the last one, and uh, <clears throat> this would be the highest pose. We can see it, and I'm always keeping the box on the same position. You can see it same height. I can actually draw one line right there just to identify the floor and that's also very useful so try to make it as simple and as understandable as you guys can you can have all those references right there to see how high he is from the floor when he jumps how high he's jumping and then when he goes down he, he makes contact right there this is the fulcrum it says there on the note and then he goes down and again the knees you can see uh, the height for the knees, how much or how low they're going, this would be the lowest position right there. And notes like this is a passing pose. So if this is one pose, I'm going to this one, this would be that passing pose right here. And I keep, keep on making notes like he's progressing now, he's making a progressive walk right there. When he lands, you can see it right there. He goes forward, he lands on the settle, and then he keeps going forward right there out of the frame. So now I'm moving into Maya I and mean, then trying to get the same reference right here. So let me close these images right here and getting the scene set up so it resembles my reference. So for the for the box I try to see the height that I have because all that all those things are important and I try to get as, as precise so for now, I'll try to see where my knees are. My knees are here and I can see that height would be somewhere in the half of the femur. So I would do the same right here. If I go to the front view or actually the side view, that I can see that height. This, I would make it something that it's really close to that. So if I actually move the box right here, I can see that would be somewhere in the middle of the femur. The next thing that I want to see also is things like um, a distance between my feet to the object that I, I, I'll be jumping also. So that distance, it also goes and it's also related just, just to the uh, dimensions of that box or that object here. So I'll go like that, just making it like this. Going back to the reference, always checking that. And this distance, it seems to be, eh, it's it's pretty it's pretty close to what I have right there. So it'll be something like that. So I'll be saving that scene, save scene as, and this would be legs uh, jump. Yeah, like that. That would do. Mm -hmm. And then back to the perspective here and this is the camera that the audience is actually looking at so I try to have the same as this one so this seems to be so I jump on the box as 